in this ex uh, workout, we're going to go over the bottoms up press. Uh, I'm going to show you a, different, a couple different ways to cook it. Uh, the reason I'm including it is because it really helps develop grip strength without actually doing grip strength exercises. So a couple different ways. Now with the, uh, the bottoms up press, you're not going to be able to uh, press as much as if you were doing a normal military press. That's fine. You're, you're not expected to do that, at least at first. So I'm just going to, here, this is bottoms up. So there are a couple different ways that you can do this. For one, it's about just a straight bottoms up press like this. Uh, since this is kind of a balancing act, keep your eye on the bell as uh, you press it up overhead. If you are in between bells, or say you, you have a bell that you can't press in this manner yet, what you can do is just hold it here. This is a great uh, way to develop grip strength and, and get used to balancing the bell. Or you can do walks with it. So you know, just walk around, just like this. In this exercise uh, complex today, what I'm going to show you is uh, we're going to do three bottoms up presses on each side. Then I've got myself a heavier bell here. This is a 24 kilogram bell. You can pick whatever is challenging for you to do farmer's carries and one arm swings. It's going to be a unilateral one. So what we're going to do, three bottoms up presses on each side. I'm going to walk the length of this room uh, with holding the bell in uh, my right arm, uh, on my right hand and uh, then do five one-arm swings on each side, walk back with, uh, with it in my left hand. So it's gonna look something like this. doing the, uh, the farmer's carries and the one-arm swings, thumbless grip will help strengthen your grip even more. Take the thumb out of it. So walk down, 